right, sheep. For tonight's history lesson, we will be learning about the Range Wars using a poem called Friendship, Respect, Peace by yours truly, Katrina Turner. Over yonder stands Cowboy Bill. His back is bent. His hands are still. Bill looks as if he's about to cry. Just heard sad news a neighbor brought by. Down Texas way, an old friend had been shot. He tries to raise sheep, but the cowman said not. For long months now, there'd been a range war. Bill lowered his head and softly swore. Sheep ate the grass way down to the root. Cattlemen objected, gave them the boot. They ordered the sheep herders to get off the land. No compromises, just a gun in the hand. Many men killed, thousands of sheep lost. Cattle protected, no matter the cost. Bill thought that such violence could never be right. Couldn't there be peace without air of fight? He watched his cows grazing. To him, they were deer and wondered if the range wars would ever come here to his beloved Kansas, a fairly new state, just 27 years old now in 1888. The Civil War had ended. The bitter strife was done. Friends died to preserve the nation along with his son. Although his grief had lessened over the years, with news of this friend's death, Bill again shed some tears. This cowboy was aging. His years left were few. His fate lay in God's hands. Bill knew this was true. He wished his last years could go quietly by, but with arguments raging, Bill knew he must try to fulfill one last mission with this old cowboy's goal. To keep peace in Kansas would be his last role. The sheep herders and cowmen might disagree. Would an attitude change help set them free? So Bill saddled his horse, jumped on the mare's back, rode off to his neighbors to get them on track. At each sodied he stopped and shared these few words. Friendship, respect, peace were what all of them heard. The neighbors all listened. They knew Bill was right. They believed in these traits with all of their might. After a week of these visits with Bill doing his best, this bent, tired cowboy would take his last rest. Thank you.